imagine you're playing white in this position. White's about to make a new queen, but if you do it right now, it's a draw because black takes our knight. And black takes our pawn too. And this position, white cannot make progress because black is invulnerable. So to win this game, white needs to somehow save the knight first and then make a queen before black can stop us with the rook f8. How do we do it? You need to make checks. So the first move we should consider is knight g4 check. Saving the knight temporarily, but there's a problem. Black takes our pawn and attacks our knight again. So we shouldn't stop here. White can save the knight and check again. But black can also attack our knight one more time with their king. However, each check alters the position slightly and we should be aware of the differences. Here, the knight and the pawn are lined up the way we want to. So white can actually make a queen, which happens to protect the knight. So is that it? Are we winning? Not yet. Black plays rook f5. This is called an absolute pin. This knight is toast. So does that mean it's a draw? Not yet. Maybe we can set up a new tactic in this position to win something equivalent back. And that move is king c4. Why? If black takes our knight, we have queen b1 check, winning back the material and white is winning. But wait, black sees this and plays bishop f4, it's not only saving the bishop, but making another new pin on the knight. This knight is a goner. But white is not done yet. White's in a bad situation, but we can turn it around by making black take this knight on our terms. White plays queen b7 check, giving up the knight. Black takes the knight and thinks that they're safe. But there's an issue here. Can you see why? This king actually has not a lot of moves left if we look closely. So the final move for white is the elegant queen e7. And this move, believe it or not, 